Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough we're going to be checking out the newest addition to the Vintage Keys series, Jewel Runner 49. This library encapsulates the retro analog vibes of the eccentric Gem Sprinter 49. This Italian 49 key synthesizer features a built-in speaker as well as a drum and rhythm machine. We recorded this instrument in wide stereo and direct line in to give you a few different tonal options and then we recorded a bunch of synth sustains, staccatos, key up and down effects as well as some of the different loops that come with the instrument. After that we crafted 20 evolving ambient pads from the source content and then took all of these samples and put it into this user interface which has even more sound shaping controls that allow you to take this instrument to places it's never been before. After that we created 20 custom effects presets utilizing all these different features designed for instant inspiration to give you an idea of what's possible with the library. So without further ado let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features that come within Jewel Runner 49. All right, so right now I have the Line NKI loaded up and this is recording the instrument direct line in so you're getting it straight from the instrument. So let's go ahead and play through some of the different sustains to give you an idea of how this library sounds. And then we have some staccato variants of the sustains. And then we also included some key down and key up effects. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the drum loops. And then if you look directly to the right of the drop down, you'll see that there's this lock icon and this allows you to sync the loops to your DAW's host tempo. So right now I had these locks, so if I go ahead and turn these off, you'll see that it allows you to play it the tempo that they're recorded. So 
So then if I engage this, then it'll play at the tempo that I have in contact. But also it'll work the same way in whatever your tempo is in your DAW. So along with recording the instrument direct line in, we also recorded it in wide stereo using the built-in speaker that comes with the instrument. So now let's go ahead and play through some of the different sounds with the mic'd NKI. So now let's go ahead and have a listen to some of the different evolving atmospheric pads that we created using all of the source content of the library. So if you want to take any of these sustains and ambiences and make your own synth leads, super easy with this glide knob right here and how high you have this set will determine how drastic the different portamento effects will sound. So let's just go ahead and turn this up just a little bit and uh, see how this sounds. Let's go ahead and turn this up a little bit more.
Turn this up a little bit more. So if you're doing any sort of synth lead type things, you might want to have this dialed back a little bit more so it's more of a smoother transition and not too dragged out. And then if you want to further shape or sound design these sounds, you can also use the different controls on the front. We have swell, attack, release, offset, vibrato, and octave. An octave is really cool, especially if you want to thicken up the sound an octave above and below. So let's check that out. And then if you want to take this library a little bit further, you can go into the advanced tab up here, which has LFO, filtering, and arpeggiation. And let's just go ahead and, and turn the arpeggiator on and just play some chords. So you can also adjust the swing, the randomization, the duration, as well as the direction and the rhythm. So if you want to make this a little bit slower, or a little bit faster. So right now I have it set to where it's just kind of cycling up and down so we can actually make it to where it zigzags. Or we can do easy roll. Right now I'm just going to leave it to down and up. And then we can incorporate some LFO. Let's turn this on. Right now it's set to pitch, so it sounds kind of wacky. And then you also have some different shape options. You can also lock this to the time as well. Or you can just have it to where it sinks. And then you can also choose the different targets as well. So you have volume, bass, treble, pitch, pan. I like to set to pan because it usually induces some kind of cool panning options that makes it sound a little bit more interesting in the stereo field. And then if you want to take these sounds and incorporate some other effects in the box without having to load up any third-party plugins, you can just go over here to the effects rack. There's a few already loaded up. These aren't engaged, but this allows you to just quickly uh, drop in some different effects. There's chorus, phaser, delay. You can also add more as well. So whichever ones are available like rotator, lo-fi, some different amps and distortions, as well as some tape saturation and transient mastering. So right now let's just go ahead and just turn on some delay. We'll turn on some reverb. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the arpeggiator and play with this now. All right, so before we wrap up this walkthrough, I want to play through some of the custom effects presets that come with the library. There's 20 to choose from, and these are all designed for inspiration, and you can just play through them, get an idea of some different ways you can utilize the library and the different advanced features to maybe craft your own, as well as modify the ones that we have here as well. So let's go ahead and have a playthrough of some of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So that about wraps up this walkthrough for Jewel Runner 49. If you'd like to learn more about this library or check out any of the other products within our Vintage Keys series, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like this, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.